Welcome to Guns, Guns, Gear, and Guns with Gary Gunderson. I am Gary Gunderson. You can make your own ballistic gel at home with a very simple recipe. It takes some time and is a bit tedious, and you are constantly fighting against the yellowish color that naturally occurs, so it's easier to see the results when you go shooting. All you need is water, gelatin, a square-ish tub, and if you have it, some cinnamon oil. Keep in mind that the gel will take on whatever shape of the container you pour it in. So this file folder I had has little nubs on the bottom and some slight arcs on the side which show up in the gel. So if you have a fancy old cake pan you can make a Bart Simpson ballistic gel or something I guess. You also want to be certain it will fit in your fridge okay so clear the space first. You could use a cold garage if the weather is right, but a fridge will be the most consistent. The gelatin is simple food grade unflavored gelatin, Knox or unbranded, whatever you can get. You might be able to use straight up jello, but I haven't looked at the ingredients list to see what else is in it besides gelatin, and then you would have weird colors. To successfully make it, preparation is key. First, be certain you have enough gelatin. I did this by pouring water into the container first to see how much water would make a block big enough for testing. I decided to do around 2 gallons, and the standard recipe calls for 10% gelatin, 13 ounces per gallon, so I needed 26 ounces. Before you pour any water into the container, you can prep the surface with a thin spray of cooking oil to help you get it out of the mold after it sets, but not too much because the more cooking oil, the more yellowish it will presumably also be. The other thing you need to do is get your gelatin powder ready. Most of the time, the gelatin powder comes in little 0.25 ounce packages, so tear open all of those and dump those into containers. This is important because to make it properly, you slowly pour in the gelatin while stirring continuously. You can't be fumbling around with the packages all this time while stirring unless you have a second person helping you make the gel. The water is ideally 105 degrees Fahrenheit. This temperature apparently helps reduce the colorization and makes the final product a bit clearer. You can also add a few drops of cinnamon oil apparently, which is supposed to help reduce the cloudiness of the gel. I did not have any on hand, so I don't know if that's accurate. Anyways, now you start slowly pouring in the powder while stirring continuously. I want to say this took me maybe half an hour to get all poured in. I could have probably gone a bit faster, but if you rush it too much, it clumps up immediately on the surface. And while small clumps have a chance to still dissolve as you stir, larger clumps will sit on the surface as debris and will need to be removed by the time you are complete. You need to have patience during this part or you will wind up wasting a lot of the gelatin powder. In addition to the clumped parts, you can get some gel bubbles that just sit on the surface as well. Just keep stirring until all the powder is in the mix and then keep going a few more minutes to be certain it has all dissolved. At that point, skim the surface to remove any large clumps or bubbles and then pop it into the fridge. It will take several hours to set and at that point you can take it out and essentially shake it or pry it loose. Be gentle so you don't tear the gel. Also have some saran plastic wrap ready for it to land on. You will want to wrap it up to keep the moisture in and keep it somewhere cool until you are ready for the range. That's it. Fairly simple, more tedious than you may think it should be. Now you can purchase your own blocks online and it's maybe three, four times more expensive than doing it yourself, so it is up to you. The block I made was interesting, although I was apparently too close when shooting because everything went right through though I found some of the bullets that went through afterwards. Anyways, that's all for today. Let me know if you've tried making your own gel or are looking to do so in the comments of the video. If you have made it to the end, consider supporting me on Patreon, joining the Discord, liking the video, sharing it with others. It helps the channel grow.
Thanks for watching.